Okay, so we're just on a very popular street here in Paris, Rue Montagru. They're probably going to kill me for my pronunciation, but a lot of dead animals on this street, a lot of um, flesh of fish. It's a popular tourist street. Here come the activists, they're right there. And we're going to be doing a little bit of street outreach here, handing out some vegan food. Okay. There's a fire inside your heart. And let it light up the world. Light up the world. What's so popular about this street? Why is this a tourist attraction? Uh, this street in particular, I don't know, but there is a lot of fisheries and butcheries uh, and cheeseries open. Any vegan places on here? <laughs> you... No. <laughs> Okay, so on the table here we have some dips, some uh, vegan um, sort of processed, what would you call this? Sausage. Some vegan sausage, and we've got some vegan cheeses here, for samples for people. Oh yeah, that's the one. Vegan foie gras. So the non-vegan kind is arguably one of the cruelest products on earth. Uh, what they do is they force feed the ducks or the geese, force feed the geese grain until their liver gets all fatty and swells up and then they kill them and cut their liver out. But this is made from... I don't know, what is made from? Something that's made of plants. <laughs> that's delicious. Vegan. Vegan. No animal. <laughs> Vegan. <laughs> You want to try? Made vegan, no plants, no animal. So how do you say plants? Plant? Plants. Plants. When I said vegan, she wanted it. Yes. Foie gras? Foie gras? Vegan. On veut juste avoir votre avis pour savoir si vous aimez bien. Il n'y a pas de porc du tout. No cruelty. So how do you say no cruelty? Cruelty free. No cruelty. Plants. With some information. What was interesting is she didn't want to take it when I told her it was foie gras. But when we said it's vegan, she took it. Amazing. Can you, can you explain to her that only, like, not just foie gras, but all animal products and vegan is how to avoid all cruelty? So it's not a single issue? Because we are saying this is vegan foie gras. We don't want to make this just about foie gras because all animal products are inherently cruel. So I asked the translator to explain to her that it's not just foie gras that is cruel, but all animal products where we exploit animals are inherently cruel and the only way to resolve that problem is to go vegan. Vegan advocacy. Uh, it's irrelevant. Yeah. Foie gras without the force feeding is still an animal's liver yeah, that was torn from their body. Yes, don't get in that. Don't let them drag you into the cruelty aspect, more the murder and the tearing out organs aspect is... Yes, yes. doesn't matter if it's That's why that foie gras is a welfare issue. So if you're saying this is foie gras, this is vegan foie gras, you should also say all animal products are inherently immoral, no matter if animals are force fed, you know, if they're not even raped, if they're just murdered and exploited and used, this is what, so yeah. I think it's important to like point that out because otherwise people go, I just won't eat foie gras or I'll find the foie gras that wasn't force fed and then you, they're still going to eat all other animal products and think that foie gras is somehow crueler than all the rest and if they don't eat that, it's a moral choice across the board. We'll see which one, we'll see which one's the most popular. We've got the sausage, we've got the cheese and we've got the foie gras. Look at my, how I build rapport with the French. Foie, foie gras? This is a... Uh, Fromage? Yeah. English? You speak English? Okay. This is actually plant-based. Vegan. Vegan foie gras, no cruelty, vegan sausage and vegan cheese. We're promoting plant-based lifestyle, vegan lifestyle, so no animals are harmed and better for the environment and for your health. Great. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Fromage? Saucisson? Fromage? Vegan. Vegan. Wait, fra, fra, foie gras? No, it's, no, it's not foie gras, it's... Uh... Vegan. I remember cheese, camembert, is like a really famous French cheese. And we have a vegan version right here. Camembert? Camembert? This one? Good? Vegan. 
You know Vigan? How do you explain? Explain? He's not, not French. You speak English? Nah, you're not French. Foie gras? Language barrier. <laughs> I used to be a vegan, I'm just a vegetarian. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm oh, sorry. Don't be sorry to me, be sorry to the animals <laughs> in the dairy industry. Yeah, you know about the dairy industry, obviously. Cool. They kill, kill all the animals and I've, take their children. I've, um, I've read about everything. I'm already what made you go back? Emotions. Your <laughs> emotions towards the animals or to, towards your cheese? Towards the cheese. Oh. What if you steered your emotion towards the suffering dairy cows? That's what I do. That's what steers me away from um, cheese shops. And then I think, oh, I can find a nice cheese that uh, is vegan. No one was harmed. I try not to um, eat them from the, you know, from the big shops, only from like smaller, and that small places. Is the know? process different in the uh, small places? I hope so, yes, yeah, truly. No, the, the process is, in, is exactly the same, except yeah. it's just on a small farm. They still take the children away, they kill the boys, kill the, no, the they cow. Don't. Some don't. Some don't? Yeah, some don't. If you, if you, attends, je te rappelle. If you do it like, um, like really small, like really small ones, you know, if you go to the shop, yeah, of course, I, I don't buy cheese from shops, you know, I only buy them from people what, who make them and will What about when the, when the cows stop producing milk for the farmer, what do they do? I don't know, but I don't get They cow. turn them into... No. Um, into meat. But they will do it anyway. Not if you don't... Not, 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 not the, the, but the, the good, yeah, the good. But if you boycott them, if you don't give them your money, then they won't, I know they'll what stop. You mean. I know what you, you yeah, because our money is what puts them in business. So if you support the small farms, you're still supporting. And you know, it's just, it's just, everyone makes their own decisions, don't they? But, but I see that you made a compassionate choice at the start and then. Mm. Something took over you and you went back to the... the took over me. <laughs> it's very alluring, but you know. <laughs> the cheese took over me. <laughs> Maybe the seed will reignite in you once again yeah, exactly. and, and, and uh, steer and towards the... Uh, yeah, forget about the cheese. <laughs> um, I, I steer my emotions away from the food and towards the living being from which it came. Yeah. And I think I know what's what more important... No, yeah. you're, you're, you're right, you're right. But yeah. uh, the cheese took over me, I'm sorry, just at least it's not the idea. You were possessed by the cheese. I am. <laughs> when we need to get you back. I know. <laughs> Please take her back, back from the, the depths of the cheese. No. <laughs> Thank you. Saucisso? <laughs> I love saying saucisso. Let's try some. Uh, I'm going to do a taste test of the, um, the vegan foie gras. Oh my lord, that is delicious. My, you want to try some? Here you go. Mm. Oh. I can't get over that. It's good. Uh, oh my god. It's, oh my god. Yes. Based, made of plants. But it's good. It's good. Yeah, it's tasty. It's good. It tastes yeah. good. And no one was harmed. I mean, they obviously tear the organs out of mm -hmm. animals to make uh, foie gras. We're just promoting um, eating and living without, you know, killing animals or using animals. I'll, I'll, you guys probably already explained that I to you. I try to reduce, but so reduce. <laughs> could be a good alternative. Maybe we could add some of these products. We've got sausage, uh, fromage. Are you from France? Yes. You're French, mm. okay, wow. The thing that actually made me think about it more was witnessing um, animals inside slaughterhouses, on these farms and going, wow, like I've never actually connected my food to the animal. It was, for me, it was just food. Yes, I did that way. I tried to reduce uh, at least meats, um, but for cheese, I'm so French for that. I can't, I can't really hard. This French. <laughs> what about too hard? But uh, it's milk. Um, yeah. My aunt got a farm, and I know the animals in her farm are not suffering. Yeah, they're not suffering on the farm. So, yes. um, do they separate the the calf from the mother um, to take the no, milk? No, no, it's uh, fully. Uh, um, I don't know the term, but. Um, they, they let the calf the, yes. stay with the mother. Yes. Do they, when the, when the cow stops producing milk for the farmer, do they send them off? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know, but I'm conscious about it, so I try to reduce meat and ducks especially, but... Yeah, and it's, for me, like, um, a lot of the, the slaughterhouses, they slaughter the, the dairy cows, even on the high welfare farms, when they stop producing milk after a certain amount of time, they become sort of 
useless to a cheese producer yeah, and they send them off to be butchered in the slaughterhouse. So we would still say that consuming cheese contributes to okay. this, this issue okay, with, a, with the animal and yeah. And that most, so if you talk about 99% of dairies, they separate the calf from the mother because they need the milk, it's a product for them. The calf gets fed a formula. So the mother's always mourning the loss. I have to ask the question, what they do with it? But yeah. They got you, but. Yeah. I mean, but that was for me the connection that I made. And so, what's your cheese made, made of? This is uh, usually coconuts or um, some form of nuts. It might be cashews, hazelnuts. This is a mozzarella. Over here, though, you know what? I'll tr get you to try the camembert. You eat camembert? Yes. So, you, I'll see if you can tell the difference. Now, we're going to try the uh, vegan camembert. Okay, I'll say that again. <laughs> Now we're going to try the vegan cum camembert. I think that's how you pronounce it. It tastes exactly like the real deal, eh? You couldn't tell the difference. I don't even think the French could tell the difference. Try this one. If you're a professional. I thought this is your best product. It is? I can't tell. It's the best product? No, I wouldn't buy this. I don't, I didn't think that was too good. This laser too. No. Um, you can tell people it's for the they will say it's not. They would say it's not, because yes. they know. Yeah. yeah. But this, I could say it's camembert. I'm a wow. Yeah. Like wow. real one. That's really cool. Amazing. All right, we'll try this cheese here too. Tastes like a mozzarella. Nice. Delicious. No, no, no issues with any of this. Even if the foie gras wasn't exactly the same, it's still, there's, a, there's another positive aspect yes. that no yes. one was harmed because and it's killed. it's not bad by tasting. Yeah. So. Where did all my samples go? Uh, no, no. Yeah, <laughs> no. I handed out all, I handed out the most of them. Okay, okay, okay. It's all on camera. It's all on camera. If we can live a, a more peaceful, compassionate life towards others and animals included, and we can get some food that tastes pretty good, then I always ask myself the question: Why not? Why not? Why should others have to be slaughtered or exploited or killed when I can have I tasty food? I would this one, and I would try. Uh... Okay, you come in. <laughs> Thank you, brother. <laughs> Thanks so much. She said I, I convinced him. He's going to keep in mind. But, you know, when you have someone who eats a lot of this stuff, foie and cheese, and they said the, the, he said the camembert, he couldn't taste the difference. That's pretty amazing. And he seemed um, like he was on board. You never know what people are going to do when they leave, but that camembert is a winner. We should have removed that. Yeah, we should turn it to the... It's plastic. Yeah. Dude, I've been giving people these sausages. They're gonna choke. We should have removed that before we started handing it out. <laughs> How do you say a uh, plastic?